Hello everyone, today we have a uh, Nissan airbag module, which is a number, this one right here, 988-988-20-JM00B, 12 volt, that's for Nissan. So the issue today is uh, this, uh, this module has a crash stored in uh, 93C76. So when you go here, and we select uh, Nissan and the crash stored 90C76. So the issue is when you go ahead and read it, and when you go, that's the purpose of the video. Uh, we have we have to know the configuration for 90CC76, which is can be found in the airbag module and uh, any dashboard. Some of the dashboards for uh, Honda and uh, uh, some other models. So when I, when I go ahead and read it, see what happened. I'm gonna show you how to fix it. You see that? Bin six, bin six is not connected. All right, so I, I connected before with Banoma, Banoma clip, which is very good clip actually, I recommend it. It's a little bit expensive compared to the other clips, but it's very good. That's uh, Bomonia 8 uh, uh, SOIC clip, okay? I try with this, and usually I read it most of the time with this, or, you know, unless if it's Honda or Hyundai, I don't use any clips. I have to take the chip out, because the Honda and Hyundai, it has a crystal, and usually it gave a power to the circuit and you're not gonna have a correct reading. And after you clear the crash for Honda and Hyundai and if you read it like this way, so it's gonna give you B1620, uh, which is module manufacturers. Uh, I will make another video for how to fix this uh, B1620 for the Honda and uh, Kia. And uh, usually I end up buying the new ones uh Abrams. but anyway let's talk today about the uh, 93c 76 so even when i change this to eight bits see still i have the same issue it says bin number six so why is bin number six all the time and i connect it very good and i make sure it's connected so if you open the data sheet for this, you will find very good. <clears throat> so principle of operation, the ORG, the ORG is the bin number six. So go, let's go up a little bit. And next time, if we have time also, we can talk about how you uh, write. If it's not write enabled, you can unlock it. Or you can lock it if you're gonna write something and you, need, you don't need somebody to, you know, uh, to write after that, we can go ahead and lock and unlock. But let's talk about today the connection, connection issue with bin number six. I will show you exactly, see? ORG is memory configuration, so that's bin number six. Let me show you very good over here. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. You see that? Six is organization, memory organization. So this 76 Abrams, the memory configuration is or uh, all right, let me open this very quick. All right, so the memory configuration, just I don't wanna make the, the video longer, but I can talk in details. But so this memory configuration has three positions. So M M93 C76 for the memory organization either as a bytes eight or as a word 16. If the organization select ORG is left unconnected or connected to the FCC. Okay, so yeah, selected when organization select ORG is connected to the ground, is FCC is eight, eight organization and selected. When the MC, M93C 
uh, whatever is going to be 76, 86, all the C cross 6 is standby mode. Organization select of the orange should be either to VCC. So if you want to connect it right now, you can connect to the to the VCC, which is bin number one, or uh, to the ground, which is going to be bin number, I believe, eight. Okay, so uh, you see that it's not connected to anything. Over here is connected to the positive. Over here is connected to the negative. So you're gonna go back to the Aprom reader, and you're gonna go and select. Uh, if it was ST, that's gonna be uh, you're gonna end up with two two option. But when you go ahead and you see when you buy the chip you're gonna find something interesting. You see that? It's a microchip technology or ST. So it depends about the circuit design, it's gonna be ST or microchip. So let's go ahead and select microchip from the, from the programmer. So you got, we're not gonna select ST. We're gonna select uh, microchip, and then you're gonna go and select 93C76. So you're gonna have 93C76A, which is ORG six number six is not connected. I did I did not do or change anything over here. It's still connected the same way that gave me the error early. So I, I selected this, and once you hit read, see what happened. No errors. You see that? Still reading. Look, look. I did not change or or touch anything. Okay. And it still is gonna be four hundred lines. It's the same way like you know the complete number and then here you go, the verify. You see it's gonna verify. Still verifying. So sometimes if you, if you have something doesn't read, look at the data sheet, guys. Make sure you read the correct operation. Look, memory, read done, verified read, verified memory done. And when I, when I go ahead and open, hold on. Cancel that, okay. When I go ahead and open the file, there you go. And it has to be 400, 400 lines, which is, Look, 400, okay? So that's how uh, you solve the problem for 93C76 or 86. Even it's gonna work with the C, look. That's gonna be B, C, whatever it is. Go ahead and read. I don't wanna save. I just want to show you guys how it does. See, it start reading without no issues. Look. But if you're gonna go back and you look at the data sheet, you're gonna see this. Uh, this Ebrum has two configuration. As long as you have a good connection, so that's you're gonna be your configuration. So you don't have to break your head what's going on and how it works. Look. Okay, so it doesn't even give you the option. It's gonna be 16 bit standard. But if you go back and you read the SD, it's gonna give you an option for 76. And then it's gonna give you the option was bus with, bus with. So read this correctly, bus with. Either it's gonna be bus with a positive to the, to the, to the power, or bus with the ground, like what we talked before about this right here. Look, no bus, bus with a positive, bus with the ground. So that's the ORG, 
organization, memory organization. So read, read the data sheet, guys, because sometimes the people send me a message and asking why this doesn't read, why this does not connect it. Is something wrong with my programmer? I said, no, just read the follow, follow the instructions. So operating features for supply VCC, operating supply voltage, and say, okay, just read it. And by the way, look, it's gonna, you're, gonna, you're gonna find it very quick. And uh, say, number six, that's the one that should, you know, always give me an error early because this in this board is not connected. So for some reason, if you're reading this board, this board for a computer module for the Nissan, and it give you an order for bed number six, and it's already connected, that mean is is not connected to anything. All right. So I just uh, want to make a quick video to to show sometime some uh, some of these issues, how you fix it, and how you take care of it. And this is gonna apply for 93, 46, uh, 56, 66, 76, 86. Or the, or the Astraix six memories. And it's gonna be 16 bit word, 10, 1024, 512, 256. Okay. And number of eight bytes, okay. So it should be an easy guys. Uh, I thought to make a quick video for it and how you take care of it. And then after you get the file, open it and clear the crash and unwrite it and that's it should be uh, quick and easy thank you guys see you in the next one okay guys so if you gonna if you're going to use the uh, ibrog so when you go and open the ibrog uh, when you go and open the ibrog application you're gonna see when you choose an ESAM and it's gonna be 93, uh, that's the part number, 9376. So it's any, anything is gonna be 93, C, uh, 76, 56, 86. Make sure that you check, don't check bin six and bin seven. As we talked before, so this bin six and bin seven is not connected. So even when it give you like the warning, uh, ignore, yes, ignore. So that's the bit, that's the same one, the same module that we read. Okay. And once you read it, you're gonna have the BIM file. Either you can use the calculator from the iBrog or you can use any other tool. So uh, the purpose of this video, just make sure that you, you check, don't use BIM 6 and BIM 7. And uh, BIM tester enabled, so you're gonna see which one is connected, which one is not connected. So I hope this video will help someone and uh, see you in the next video then. Thank you for watching. Thank you.